You know, you guys, we were talking um, earlier this week, but I told you by the time I did get married, I was so focused on, um, as we say, doing me. You know, I was finishing seminary and I had become passionate about this idea of how we live as the church compared to what the Bible says. And I was like, you know what? I want to go get another degree about this. And eventually I want to be a professor and I want to teach these things. And right around that time, my husband and I knew that the Lord was calling us to be married. And I was finishing seminary. He was finishing law school at the exact same time. And he lived in New York and he had a bomb job on Wall Street (laughs) that, you know, I couldn't even in conversation compete with. (laughs) I was like, no, let's not take that job. Let's go. um, hmm, I don't know. Let's go somewhere where I'm going to be in school and we're not going to have the same kind of job. And so... It was one of those things where I knew I had to either go forward in doing me or submit to the season that God had for me to be married. And I had a conversation with a friend of mine, a single woman who was older than me, um, and she gave me some wisdom because I went to her and I just said, well, I'm not the type of girl who follows some man. And she looked at me and she said, why not? Ooh. And I said... I, you know, I've just never been her. I don't know. I don't think I want to be her. <laughs> and she said, well, do you love this man? I said, I very much. She said, is the Lord calling you to marry this man? Yes, he is. She said, well, then and she chuckled like, what's the problem? And I think it was then that I realized that I was just so stuck in my idea of what it meant to be moving forward. Mm -hmm. Um, that I was about to, I'm a toddler's mom. So I was about to poo poo the season that the (laughs) Lord was calling me into. Right. You know? And so I, I really had to Take to heart Philippians 1, 6, when it says, and I am certain that God who began the good work within you will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. Mm -hmm. That is that God, I am Christ's workmanship, right? I am God's workmanship. And he who created me, he created me to do good things that I'm supposed to do, but he prepared them Mm -hmm. beforehand and I am following in his way. And what my sweet pastor's wife, Sarah Berger, has taught me actually She's taught me something very important. She says, you know, every season that I come to, everything that the Lord gives me, I hold it with care, but I don't clench it Mm -hmm. because who knows what the Lord is going to do. And so that's what I've had to come to learn. I had to learn it in singleness. Mm -hmm. I've come to learn it in marriage when the Lord changes our season, even in jobs that I hold everything that the Lord gives me with care. But I can't clench too tightly because these seasons belong to the Lord. And wherever he's leading, I have to be able to go. It really is about living on purpose. And it's one of those things. Dr. Robin has said it. It's it's about being in the season and your mission creating movement and your purpose creating power. And that's really what this is about. No matter what season you're in, it's about doing those things. And it always comes back to this for me, doing those things that we know we should do. um, For me, they're studying Mm -hmm. the word, worshiping and praying, those things that cultivate a relationship with the Lord so that you know what he's calling to. You know what that purpose is. You know what that mission is in this moment. And it's just like, what are those, you know, nuts and bolts of How do I get into the presence of the Lord to even know what that is? Well, it's the things we've heard of, studying the word, praying and worshiping, going before the Lord's feet and being in relationship with him so that no matter what, you can pivot based on what he says. If it's in the season of being single, that you're living that single life with purpose, unashamed and un- unhindered. And then as a, whether mm-hmm. you're married or not, I mean, if you are married, then it's moving in that. And that's going to be tied to your husband. You know, like Avila said, this is an earthly tie. So there are things that Havla and I and Dr. Robin have to consider when it comes time to hop on a plane or go teach or go sing. It's like, okay, now we're going to need an extra room and that's just for somebody to come and watch these babies. You know what I'm saying? And it's a blessing and something to consider, but it's still all about, I can't even do that as a married woman unless I know that the Lord has said, this is the purpose I have for you. Because trust me, 
lugging a three and a half year old and a 10 month old is not fun if the Lord has not told you to do it. It's like, no, you sit down, you relax. <laughs> but when you do know what he's called you to do, that's how you know how to move. And so for anybody watching, I would just encourage you to focus on those ways of cultivating relationship with the Lord, because that's what's going to highlight for you your purpose and your mission and give you that movement, give you that power um, to be moving on on purpose for the Lord. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. And don't forget to check out our Better Together shop. Thanks for being a part of our community.